This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2148, Four Reasons Worry Scares You and How to Be More Fearless by Ingrid Y. Hellander of ingridyhellanderlmft.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, your very own personal narrator. And we're gonna jump right into another post and start optimizing your life. Four Reasons Worry Scares You and How to Be More Fearless by Ingrid Y. Hellander of ingridyhellanderlmft.com. Worry can strike fear in the heart. Truly confident people do not have to push worries away to feel good. But if contemplating what worries you increases your anxiety, you are not alone. Wouldn't it be great to gain a sense of calm and clarity even when you have anxious thoughts? I recently asked a group to imagine their worries and write them down. After many years working with anxious clients, I was only a little surprised by the responses. A few got helpful information. Some could not do it. Others replied with disparaging comments about their worries. Still others made little jokes or recited platitudes about how to manage their worry. Here are four big reasons that even thinking about worry can be daunting. Number one, when you imagine your worries, you can subconsciously activate your sympathetic nervous system. Try it for yourself. Write down a few things that you worry about often. Notice how your heart beats faster and harder. Your mind becomes less focused. Your body may tighten. This is an activation of your sympathetic nervous system. Not surprisingly, when you are in this state, you will naturally feel more vulnerable. Number two, For some people, noticing worried thoughts sends them quickly toward depression. If you have a history of anxiety linked to depressive symptoms, noticing worry reminds your mind and body of sensations that feel like the slippery slope into depression. Unfortunately, now you have another worry on top of whatever worry you came up with originally. Number three, you've probably been taught that worry is a bad thing. It's common to believe that worry as an emotion is generally bad and that it is a weakness to experience it. This internal shaming creates critical messages inside you. So even thinking about worry creates a firestorm of difficult emotions. In order to calm these sensations, you may separate from them by reciting advice, making jokes, or crumpling your worry list and throwing it away. And number four, If you're prone to high anxiety, even thinking about worries feels out of control. If you have unaddressed anxiety, tapping into your worries can spiral into obsessive thinking about everything you fear. In these cases, it makes sense that you'd want to avoid being propelled into this worry vortex. This is similar to number two, except that instead of the fear being about becoming depressed, it is about slipping into more panic or racing thoughts. You're probably asking, Why wouldn't I want to avoid my worries? Here's the thing, avoiding worry does not make it better. In fact, it likely makes it worse. When you face your worries with fear, you miss out on the opportunity to get a lot of valuable information. Since you ignore or even push these feelings away, they end up disconnected from your awareness and this limits your personal insight. Pushing your feelings away contributes to a sense of lostness or numbness, which over time, has an enormous impact on your life. In addition, worries that are ignored or actively pushed away do not go away, they remain as parts of your personality. And because human personalities are amazing and multifaceted, you'll develop parts that serve to protect or manage your world to keep you from feeling the worries. Over time, you can feel exhausted, always trying to ignore or ward off any triggers for these vulnerable thoughts and feelings. It's common to find worry about worry about worry. The anxiety grows, creating significant symptoms like panic, headaches, sleeplessness, depression, and so on. So how can you get acquainted with your worried thoughts without running away in fright? Here are a couple of steps you can try today. Don't push yourself beyond just enough challenge. Be patient and take it in steps. You don't wanna scare yourself more. Number one, Remind yourself that you have many feelings and they are not trying to harm you. In fact, parts of you that hold these emotions need attention, connection, and guidance from you. It may sound like a strange concept, so move slowly and have patience. Number two, breathe fully and gently to calm your body. 
Write any small worries on a paper in front of you and look at them as small parts of you, not the whole. Number three, get really curious. Breathe and walk away if you feel at all overwhelmed. Allow yourself to walk back, just taking a look at a thought or feeling familiar to you. Think, huh, that's interesting. And number four, ask as you look at the worry you've written, ask from the perspective of your worry, what does that part of you believe would happen to you if you did not worry this way? Notice any positive intention of this part of you and offer a bit of gratitude if it's possible. Now congratulate yourself. You've uncovered a little bit of yourself, a part of you that needs your attention. As you practice bringing more curiosity to your whole internal life, your feelings, memories, and body sensations, your confidence and clarity will grow. You just listened to the post titled Four Reasons Worry Scares You and How to Be More Fearless by Ingrid Y. Hellander of IngridYHellanderLMFT.com. Remember 2020, the year of many things? Well, we are in a new year now, and if you own a small business, this could also be the year you switch to better payroll. Gusto wasn't just built for small businesses, it was built for the people behind them. Their online payroll is so easy to use. Gusto can automatically calculate paychecks and file all of your payroll taxes, which means you have more time to run your business. Plus, Gusto does way more than payroll. Gusto helps with time tracking, health insurance, 401ks, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, access to HR experts. You get the idea. It's super easy to set up and get started, and if you're moving from another provider, they can transfer all your data for you. It's no surprise, 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto. The Optimal Living Daily team has been using Gusto for years, and we have no plans to change. It's really made our lives way easier. And here's the best part. Because you're a listener, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com slash old. Again, that's gusto.com slash old. I'm telling you, you're gonna love Gusto. So get started today. Thank you to Ingrid. I think there are some great tips in here. I remember reading through a book about worry and how the authors kind of drew a parallel of worries to little monsters. Actually, they literally drew it because I have the image in my head of what they look like. These little monsters are things that make us anxious and we don't like to carry around with us. It makes us upset that we have to do that all the time because they're heavy and not fun to look at. But as Ingrid mentioned, if we can see them as only a small part of us, not the whole, and things that need to be nurtured and actually have a purpose of trying to help us, really, well, maybe they'll start to feel less like monsters after all. Maybe they need to be fed a bit or taken along with us for some exercise and wheeled around in a wagon instead of us carrying them around all the time. And who knows? They could take a different shape and look a lot different than they do today, less like monsters. By kind of looking at them with curiosity instead of hatred, maybe they won't be so ugly after all. It can be a silly thing to think about, but sometimes a little silliness is all we need to take a step in the right direction. So take that step forward today, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.